He lives here now, right? Yeah, Dun Duncan lives here. Everyone's yeah. asking me to come. You should come. I know you're talking shit about moving to Austin, but listen. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I watched the video. No, I didn't. Don't lie. You did. You did. What like, is I'm that? not going to move to Austin. I don't leave my neighborhood. I don't go to Compton. I stay right here. Could I say something? What? You know what, man? <laughs> no, no, you know what? <laughs> you know what, man? You no, know, you know what, man? What? Listen, what? you have to understand what you guys did. What did we do? You guys took half of the talent out. Yeah. So I was just butthurt. We brought another bunch in, too. Like Shane Gillis lives here. I know. I know he does. We're doing now. great. I know you guys are killing it. We're having. I went so to the club last night. Come move here. I know, it's, but you're more than Paulie's thinking about it. Paulie's here a lot. I know. And Paulie's then just here. The Theo's other day. thinking He's about it. it. Theo's thinking about right. it. Right. Yeah. They're he, all just worried that like people go, "Oh, you move there, suck on Rogan's nuts." I would never suck your nuts. I don't ask. I wouldn't do it. If you did, it would be a problem. Yeah. I'd be like, "Why are you doing this?" I'd have to be. Asleep. Would you hurt me? No. Oh, if you okay, we were camping. If I woke up and you were sucking my nuts, <laughs> I wouldn't hurt you. <laughs> what? I would yell at you. It like hurt what? you. Yeah. I'd be like, it "What the good, dude? It felt good." It was. I was in the middle of a dream. What if I was in the middle of a sex dream? Yeah, yeah. And you suck my nuts I'd be so I mindful, too. Bro, that would be a real problem like, for the <laughs> yeah, rest yeah. of my life. Right. Probably, like, the hardest I ever came. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it. I, no I was way. sleeping. Uh, yeah, I, was I would never a do sex it. dream. Yeah, Bobby yeah. Lee was sucking my nuts. I don't yeah. know why he was doing it. It was just for fun. <laughs> he didn't know. I've sucked nuts go. before, but like, you know. I get it. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, I'm gonna, I mean, me and Santino will maybe think talk about it. Though. Listen, man, it's a great place to live. It's a great place tax-wise. It's a great place traffic-wise. It's a great place. The most important thing is people-wise. The people here are so friendly. Austin people are great people. They're really nice. They're nice. They're not shitheads. They're not Hollywood people. They're not lost in this fake world of leftist ideology that everybody's trapped in. They're just people. They're just regular people, man. And those people exist outside of these these blue bubbles where everyone's gone insane. Well, I used to be a part of the blue bubble. I, w I was 100% a left-leaning person who lived in Los Angeles. I was 100%. I never voted Republican my whole life. I was very left-leaning, especially with like any social issues. When it comes to financial things, I'm a little bit more conservative, but at the end of the day, I'm way more left than I am right. But California went nuts, man. It's gone like full communist. It's out of its mind. And their approach to law enforcement is so insane. It's so insane. The no cash bail, the letting people out for committing violent crimes, the fucking st not stopping people for stealing up to whatever money it is. What is it, $900 now? I think they raised it. I think they made it a little higher. San Francisco is non-existent. San Francisco, most of San Francisco is emptied out of like big chain stores and big department stores. Cause they, I, I, would, I wouldn't even do stand up there anymore. It's crazy. It's, they man. ruined it. They ruined the city. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You can bring it back. The structure's still there. But yeah, you'd yeah. have to have some hardcore Rudy Giuliani type motherfucker to come in there and knock heads. Wow. And nobody wants that. You nobody know, wants that. They're peace, love, and granola and wear a mask. I'm in the middle now. I'm in the middle. I'm in the I middle. Never w I never thought I would ever never, say that. Never. 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 It only happened in this last year. Right. Exactly. I just went, I can't do it anymore. You know what I mean? People that you thought were aligned with you are like now now like mad at you about shit. They're in a cult. They're in a cult. It's it's got all I mean Mark Andreessen, who's a brilliant venture capitalist guy, explained it to me. In, in, in very clear terms, like what the definition of a cult is, how you can get excommunicated, how you get shamed for having differing opinions, the group think, the whole, he's like, it's a cult. And he's right. He's 100% yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just hard to say because then people in the cult will attack you. But they're not attacking you for a reasonable, it's not logical, yeah. like the way they're attacking you. They're attacking like someone attacks religious beliefs. Yeah. And some of these religious beliefs that get... It gets into these weird gray areas, like like tr trans people in women's bathrooms. Like, says who? Yeah. Says who? How do you know that's a real trans person? How do you not know that's a fucking creep that wants to pull his dick out in front of kids? Because yep. those are real. We and spa. You, yeah. And if all you, that guy was a convicted uh, sex offender. Yeah. Yeah. And he was doing that. Look, those guys are real. It doesn't mean trans people aren't real also, but those guys are fucking real. Yeah. And to even say that those guys are real, you get excommunicated. You yeah. get treated like you're a Nazi. I never even cared about it. Didn't care at all. Yeah, I mean, I, whatever you are, I don't give a shit. 
know what I mean? But it's like, I can't do it anymore. I think it's engineered. I really by do. By who? By China and by Russia. Oh, no, Chinese. Yeah. I think uh, what they're doing by manipulating social media, manipulating algorithms, I think some of it is natural. Don't, don't get me wrong. I think some of it would have happened either way. It happened during the 70s with the hippie movement. There's always like... There's always these people that are, they want to live completely outside of the norm of conformity of society. And mm. there's always people like that. But what's going on now is very different. And it's accentuated by social media. And I think it's accentuated by algorithms naturally, because people are inclined to go towards things that upset them. But also, it's, it's done purposely. And I think it's done, if you have enough stuff about like whatever the thing is, whether it's Black Lives Matter or whether it's Ukraine or whether it's Pal free Palestine from the river to the sea. If you have enough of that online, it moves the needle. And the way I described it the other day, it's like if two ships are going in a certain direction. This is a ship where people logically work through things. And this is a ship that's adjusted by the algorithm, affected by the algorithm. Mm. It just moves that much over time. This is what we're seeing. So over time, you and I, who used to be on the left, are now like, where's the left? Where are you guys? You yeah. guys are so far away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I yeah. can't even see you. Yeah, yeah. You're out of your mind. You're, you're, you're chopping dicks off and, and <laughs> giving little kids <laughs> yeah, yeah. hormone blockers. You have no idea what the long-term consequences are. You're ignoring the health risks. You won't even talk about the health risks. Yeah. You, you use things like... G gender affirming care. What are you saying? Yeah. What are you saying when you're talking about children? Yeah. Why are you just accepting this? Because it, it's, it's a noble thing to blurt out. So everybody goes, you're on the right team. That's what it is. Yeah. It's not like, oh my God, what are we doing to kids? It's not like, oh my God, what are we doing to San Francisco? It's not like, oh my God, why are we letting these violent criminals out of jail? It's like, yeah. oh my God, why are we defunding the fucking police? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. You can't say any of those things. If you say any of those things, but you're you just a Nazi. Yeah, I you get did. nervous? No. Okay. I live here. Right. This is Texas. In Texas, 99% of the people agree with me. Even the left-leaning <sighs> people here are way more reasonable.